Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve some common activation errors you might be having on your Windows computer. So whether you purchase a retail copy or there's a built-in copy on Windows 10, this tutorial will hopefully be able to resolve your issue. So just want to get this out there right off the bat. If you're looking for some non and user license agreement way of acquiring Windows 10. This tutorial is not for you. This is for people who have legitimately purchased or have a right to Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8, I mean for that matter to be honest as well. And this is conforming to Microsoft's policies. Everything you see in this tutorial is legitimate. If you're looking for any product keys, I'm sorry you came to the wrong place. It will not be anywhere on this tutorial or in the description or anywhere. So go somewhere else for that. So anyway, assuming you have a legitimate reason here, we're going to go ahead and just jump into activating your copy of Windows. Like I said, there are no product keys anywhere in this video, so if you do not have some legitimate key already on your computer or in your email or somewhere, this video is not going to work for you just straight out. So anyway, we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in CMD, best match to go back with command prompt, you want to right click on that, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this Elbea command line window, you want to type in slm gr space minus sign rearm exactly as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should say command completed successfully, please restart the system for the change to take effect. Select OK. We're to just restart your computer at this time. However, if you're still having a problem, and again, I, I would suggest you guys restart your computer right now, we're going to go ahead and move on. The next step would be to open up the Start menu, type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match is Registry Editor. You want to right-click on that, and then left-click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left-click on Yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest that you create a backup of it, so if anything ever went wrong, you could easily restore it. So in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab. Select Export. File name, usually I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to All and then save it to a convenient location on your computer or external source, whatever is most convenient for you. And if you ever need to import it back in, just would left click on the File tab and select Import. And navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. So once you made your backup, we're ready to begin, and that's going to entail double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder or left-clicking the little arrow next to it. We just want to expand the drop-down. Do the same thing for the software folder now. And now you want to locate the Microsoft folder, so expand that one as well. And it should be a Windows NT folder, so you might have to scroll down a little bit. And right here, expand that one as well. Current version. You just want to left click on that one time. Now I'm going to have this blurred out for this video because I don't want anybody actually using my product ID here. But this is going to be your product key in here. So if I double click on the product ID string value in here, you see a value data in this field. This is especially pertinent if you purchased a retail copy of Windows 10 and you have an actual serial number that you have to reference. Make sure the value data in here matches whatever your reference data is. So before you change anything, I would suggest you just copy it out of here out of the value data field and paste it in a notepad file or something. We did create a backup of the registry as well as an extra precaution, but this is the only thing we'd even consider changing in here for this tutorial. So you might want to consider just copying out just like you would any normal text and paste it into a notepad file or something. Save it to your desktop and then, you know, if anything went wrong, just paste it back in the original value data that was in here. So again, you can try pasting it in here, see if that is able to resolve your problem. You would just left click on OK once you're done with that change. And then you can close out of here and that'd be pretty much it. So I do have this brief tutorial is able to help people out that legitimately purchase Windows 10 and are having issues with activation. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.